I haven't seen a lot of people talking about this, but that's probably because this book dropped in 2.2. But we now know more details about A and Makoto in the Archon War, specifically what A did to help her sister become the first Electro Archon. It's also worth mentioning that A does talk about this book series in her voice lines, and she states that it is fairly accurate until the war against Orobashi, but the only book available for the Treasure Tale series has not reached that point yet. This is what the book says about A. Though the Shadow Shogun was divinely skilled in martial arts and unsurpassed with the blade, she believed herself little more than a warrior, with little understanding of mortal hearts. Thus, she chose to give up her bodily form, helping her sister to ascend to the heavenly citadel and obtain dominion over Inazuma. What they mean by choosing to give up her bodily form or whatever was basically she did the equivalent of killing herself because that's how little she believed she understood mortal hearts. It then says Makoto set up the shogunate and began to rule over the land. And then says, Remembering their bond, she recalled A's divine will and forged her body, thus returning her sister to her side once more as her Kage Musha. And it's not outright stated, but I'm guessing that the way that this book hints at reforging A's body is how A also learned to make the puppet or the doll Scaramouche as well as the current Raiden Shogun. The fact that she believed she understood humans so little that she basically killed herself so her sister could become the Archon kind of makes sense why she didn't understand why humans wanted to keep their visions. This was just a short explanation about the book and what it tells us about Makoto and A, but low-key feeling bad for A right now, I don't know if this changed anyone else's mind though.